Yo, my dudes, what's going on? David here, and welcome to another reaction. This episode, we are diving into Parks and Rec Season 2, Episode Number 20, called Summer Catalog. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. Hopefully, you are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, it is Parks. I've mentioned before, you have to come into these episodes with, like, a loose mindset. Don't take anything too serious. And then there's me who takes everything too serious. But uh, whenever I tend to lay back and enjoy the, the the stupidness that's going on, it usually is a really good episode. So I'm going to try to do that now. I'm going to try to just relax, go into this and not think too much about it. You know the rules. Buckle your seatbelts. Let's ride. Woo! Switching okay. Robinson. That hat is dope. Thanks, Tom. You mind if I rock that bad Larry on my dome? Absolutely not. Oh, Girl, this is bad, Tom. Precious and precious. Uh-uh. How about, yes, I am a hunter, and it's youth season. Whoa! Ooh, Donna! I tried. Just Watch Ron go out there. Oh, my God. Thank you, man. <laughs> Isn't that that creepy guy? Morgan, the pedophile? Yeah, it is. Oh, oh my Cherry! Oh, yeah. <laughs> he seemed okay. We're all struggling for definition. <laughs> I love that April okay, always just looks at the camera. Reasons one, this is a summer catalog. What is he thinking? <laughs> is my cup so tiny? <laughs> Why was that cup so tiny? Hey. Ooh, damn! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you got me in the face. And Perkins, Mark Brandanowitz. Brandanowitz. Or Merkins. <laughs> Merkins. You two should be models. What is this? She <laughs> noticed. You were right. Oh my god, somebody's here. Okay, guys, just act normal, please. Just be like normal people. Hello. How? Hi. Look at the sweaters. I thought you were dead, Clarence. No, I'm gonna outlive you. Then I'm gonna nail your wife. Screw you, you old coot. <laughs> okay. Shut your damn mouth, Tamsley. Okay, great. Let's go. I ate it already. What? I could smell it in your purse before I even parked my car. And now it's gone, and I hate everything. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Good. Ann, can Ann. you give me something? Anything right. in the face? What do you want me to do? Do what Mark's doing. He's doing great. Keep slithering. <laughs> I'm not doing anything, so. Oh. Maybe I should write a song about a picnic. Ooh, where'd you come up with Yes. The picnic we're having. <laughs> right now, the perfect title. Life is a picnic. Pushed him out. <laughs> uh, is it, there was no other reason you wanted the job? No. Nope. Just the money and the pension. Dude, I swear to you, it's only <laughs> Leslie that cares so much. Your face just isn't working. I need to do something to distract Dude. This boring area. Oh now, my god. Do this, but we may have to go nude. Goodbye, Tom. <laughs> no, 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 I totally understand, but we should get one for safety. I want to make out with him and chew his eyebrows off. <laughs> really gross. Anybody got any water? <laughs> Look oh, at this guy's water. eyebrow. Take your face and I'm gonna shove it in those brambles. Yes. No, you're next, buddy. And Ooh. Hey, let's take this picture. Come on. Get out of your seat, turds. Right. Look at her. Just there we go, Leslie. Get shit done. You look miserable. You do look kind of miserable. Now oh, you know what I meant by shit. make your face better. Was there something wrong, man? I... What? Just got They're gonna break up. Shift. Okay, I'm 25. No old jokes, please. ID. No. How old is she? So that was the problem. No, you know what the worst part it's is? It's the truth, it's, but it'll Parks never happen. Director. But every single person who was Parks Director hated their job and hated everyone they worked with. Of course, my first act as city manager will be to propose eliminating the Parks Department. First act as city manager would be to double the size of the Parks Department. Oh my god, they're Although so completely opposite. Run. And take advantage of everything this great town has to offer. Time is fleeting. Like oh my god. Needs. Make the most of it while you can. Oh, nice shot. Ooh. Clarence's ancient junk. Oh, oh, in the neck. Jeez. Okay then. All right, man. Season 2 episode number 20 of Parks and Rec. I enjoyed it. I thought that was a really good episode. I'm leaning towards a 8 Probably like a mid eight, mid to high eight, maybe. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It had 
pretty much everything I needed it to have. And then even though it had Mark and Anne in it, I thought they were really good with um Tom. I thought it was funny, just the whole storyline that was going on with Tom and them. It was really cool. It's very apparent to me though that Anne and Mark are not gonna last very long. This is like the third or second episode. I'm pretty sure it was three episodes now in a row that she just does not look happy. Not the slightest bit of happiness coming from uh, Anne herself. And then uh, the other storyline is obviously the main storyline, which is Leslie bringing in all the uh, you know prior prior past. I don't know, whatever. He, bringing in all the, the 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 old employees that used to work for the Parks and Rec department, and uh, pretty much trying to make this huge deal of it, trying to get a picture for the uh, little magazine that they got going on, the little summer catalog, and it goes completely to shit. And I feel bad for her because if there's one person that cares probably way too much for her job, it's Leslie. Which is why I wish she exists in real life because I feel like she would be the most ideal uh, you know, woman to put in, in the White House, man. I would 100% vote for this woman. 100%. Like, she's that damn good. Uh, and so, you know, a lot of the guys are very much... They had the same mindset as as Ron. They just kind of did it to do it. They didn't really love what they did. They didn't really like Leslie breathes and does everything through the parks department. So it it's just it's a bummer. I'm 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 a little upset that she didn't really enjoy herself uh because of how douchey they were all being towards each other and how you know, vulgar and crazy things were going on. But anyways, when we steer away from that, we have, we're, we're left off with the April and Andy uh, storyline, which to me is the biggest bummer of the whole episode. Not in the sense of it was bad. No, it just sucks because I think that April, you know, obviously getting stopped and not being allowed to go in because she's 20 scared Andy away. And I would assume that Chris Pratt in this in this show at least his character Andy, I don't think he's well into his 30s. I would say late 20s, early 30s. But that's still pretty significant age gap. Some people are into it, some people aren't. Uh obviously she's of legal age. I didn't realize that there's certain bars that won't allow people under 21. I'm going to assume that they do that because they ran into trouble before or they just don't want to run into that trouble of uh, someone, a minor, being in their bar and drinking. Uh, but maybe I could be thinking of something completely different. Maybe it's clubs that don't mind uh, you know, 18-year-olds going in. But that sucks, man. That's a real bummer. She looked completely bum. And then they were the uh, cover of the summer catalog, which was probably the best part about it. But she, like her face looked so upset. I felt so freaking bad, man. Like it was, oh man. She wants Andy so bad. And it's not even like she wants him for like the nasty. Like she just wants this guy. Like she legit, like they're just, they feed off of each other so perfectly, but just Andy does not realize it. I'm okay with waiting until the season finale for something to happen, but if Andy walks away from this, I might be a little upset. Not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but then, like I said, Tom, Tom doing the whole Ann and Mark thing for Leslie was awesome. The pictures came out like absolute crap. I thought for sure we would have gotten at least a, a decent picture. Uh, but it just it's leaning more and more towards just Anne not being happy with Mark. And I I've mentioned it a couple times where I was like, huh, it's just coming off weird. But to me, like really we're gifting each other for six months? It just comes off weird. It, I don't know. To me it just comes off weird. Uh it's one thing for a yearly anniversary, it's another thing to just gift somebody something just cause. But to rule it a six month anniversary gift, put a title to it. I don't know about that one. 
Uh, I kind of felt bad for Mark in this one. Obviously, I feel bad for April. And then I feel bad for Leslie. But, 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 there is nothing better than Ron's love for uh, breakfast, man. This man, his love for food in general, but breakfast, nothing beats it. Like, the amount of times that this man ran towards food, the way he bit on that crispy-ass bacon, the man loves some good breakfast. Like, a diner's his best friend. I 100% believe it. The man loves breakfast. But I enjoyed this episode, like I said. Uh, I'm trying to start going into these episodes with the mindset of stop taking everything so serious. Stop, you know, stop thinking so much into the storylines. Just lay back, let them say some stupid shit, and laugh to it. And that's what I did in this episode, which is why I think I'm leaning towards that middle uh, eight range closer to a nine then I'm closer to an eight you know what I'm saying because it's just it's a lot of fun and Ron has been gold lately like he has been on another level as far as funniness goes at first I was like I wasn't really that into Ron and I know a lot of people were like oh Ron's so funny Ron's so funny but I just saw it as like again I was taking it the serious route I just saw it as like Ron you you don't even like your job you're just here to be here you hate the government but then as you keep going on, or at least as I kept going on and kept watching it, the more and more I saw Ron and how much he hates the government and his job, but loves like the silly things like uh, breakfast and uh, Duke, him being the Duke. Like It's just like, he's funny on another level. He's grown on me way too much. He's probably, not even probably, he definitely is my favorite character right now because of just how silly he is. Tom is usually up there too, but sometimes Tom has like his moments where he's just like trying a little too hard for me. But I enjoyed it, man. I'm gonna give this episode, like I said, eight, eight and a half range. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Bees, guys.